right guys, today I'm gonna to show you how to do an Audi S-Line hood with our Assassin Red Cosmetic PPF. Right here, this is our application foam for Flexi Shield. This is a tack reducer. It also works as a soap for your slip tank when doing clear PPF. Uh, you apply this application foam very liberally and it takes about 60 seconds to kind of dry out. After 60 seconds, it'll be ready. This makes the air squeegee out as if it's water. So it, it pushes the bubbles right out, no problem. It also helps with the air release. I like to do a minus sign. That helps kind of represent that it reduces. Um, it's like a negative tack. And for the edges, I like to use a 99% alcohol or uh, some sort of uh, cleaning solvent, such as uh, prep sprays from various brands. This particular one is the Oracle. Uh, I like to do a positive sign, a plus sign, because we're increasing the time. So all of the edges around the whole perimeter, and of course these recesses, and I, I like to keep on going until I hear it make like a, a squeak noise. I think you could hear that in the microphone. Here's a recess. I pay a special close attention to all the corners. It lifts really easy with that Flexi Shield application foam. I usually start off by kind of giving it a, a vertical anchor. As you can see, the bubbles, you can kind of push them around because of the attack reducer we apply. Here's one here. But also, the air release works very good. As the front begins to curve down, I will save that for later. I try to feed as much as possible, giving material into these recesses. I prefer to have it up all the way, fully maxed out, top speed. What I found is that heating the backside of the adhesive, uh, it helps penetrate all eight mils of the PPF. The PPF is very thick, so heating the adhesive and the top side, it helps through and through heat the film up to the correct temperature. Once I get past this recess, I could stretch the rest of the way. All right, so now we're gonna try glassing out and making smooth all of this. You have to be very patient, but you just work in sections, and uh, it is possible to do this solo. To do it by yourself, I like to divide it into quadrants. So first I bisect it, two sides, 
and then I, I create the quadrants, the top and the bottom. The best way to stretch is to use your thumbs and create a clamp with your hands. A wide spread, glass it out, and lay it down. And once again, I'm gonna switch back. I'm gonna feed material in, and I'm gonna try to give it material for this recess. But you can also use a glove and glove all this down. For the corners here, what I found best is to warm it up and align one of your fingers with the corner. We'll use this finger. Slowly lift up and hook it around that corner. And for this other side, I'm gonna show the two-person method with uh, the group over here, so thank you.